हेलो बी एल एस आई एक्सपीरियंस वेलकम टू स्वीटी स्पीक्स ऑफिशियल यूट्यूब चैनल आई एम स्वीटी पंजानी टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू सी अ फ्री प्रैक्टिस प्लेटफॉर्म फॉर वेरी लॉग द नेम इज एच डी एल बिट्स आई रिपीट एच डी एल बिट्स इफ यू गो एंड सी दिस वेबसाइट यू विल नो that it is a collection of lot of exercise problems for very block and they will start from basic gradually moving on to test bench there will be some problems on getting started then very log language combinational and sequential circuits reading simulation and then writing test bench if you go to getting started they have very basic exercise problems Let's try AND gate. What is the working of AND gate? Here, if you see, they have also explained what is this diagram or what is this design. Now, what is the working of AND gate? Whenever both your inputs are one, A and B both are one, then your out is one. Here, they have given the basic skeleton, and you have to. code the functionality so i'll use a sign statement and i'll say out equals a and b let me submit once you submit it will compile and simulate it is compiling <clears throat> status is success and it has also generated the waveform if you see properly out is one whenever both your inputs a and b are one this is what we were expecting and this is the correct output now let us try some other problem this one we had already seen let us go to base uh, getting started anyways we had tried let us go back now we will try something from say sequential logic let me try d flip flop now they will explain what is d flip flop also and what kind of design they are expecting you a d flip flop is a circuit that stores a bit and is updated periodically at positive edge of clock signal this circuit works at positive edge of clock signal there is no reset in this design they just have clock then d flip flops are created by the logic synthesizer when a clocked always block is used and if you want to see what is clocked always block that also they are explaining here how it works what is clock always block i think this is also another practice problem which you can solve it is in procedure procedural we have different blocks like always so this is also a practice plat problem here okay so it is saying we need to design it using a always block and d flip flop is simplest form of combinational logic where the combinational logic portion is just a wire wire that's why we are using a sign statement then we need to create a single d flip flop here if you see they have also given comments on how you are going to code what the circuit is clocks are used in sequential circuits since this is a problem in sequential circuit that's why they are using clock now here are the hints use a clocked always block what does it mean i'll give always at the rate they say say that this circuit works on positive edge of clock so i will say false edge of clock then we'll give begin and and what is the functionality of d flip flop that also actually they are saying copy d to q at every positive edge of clock 
and they are also showing saying blocked always block should use non blocking assignments that also they are specifying now we will say d and we are using non blocking assignments q it means at every positive edge of clock d will get the value of q let us submit there is some error what does it say output port q has no driver file let's go back and check what did we do always at the positive edge of clock what did i do wrong did you see output is q and input is d i am trying to assign value of q to d this is wrong i should assign value of d to q now submit now it is success and if you see at each positive edge of clock whenever there is a positive edge of clock the value of d this is the positive edge of clock and whenever there is a positive edge of clock the value of d should be given to q so at this point it was zero so that's why zero came here then again at next positive edge of clock here the value is 1 so one came here and if you see here reference is something which is the correct solution and this is what is generated from our coding it means we have created the right design now let us try one thing here if i do q is not of d what will happen let me submit q has 119 mismatches if you had seen this was their reference means this is the output which they are expecting from the design and if you can see my output is reversed at the positive edge of clock my output is reverse here it is 1 minus 0 okay and here it is 1 minus 0 so if you see this whenever you code an incorrect design you are going to get it that output q has these many mismatches compared to the reference and then you can know that something is wrong okay and they are also giving the uh, timing diagram so that you can locate where you went wrong you can go through this platform and try to see what problems they have in exercise execute them and they have also given you guidelines on how to code it is very simple and you can run see the waveforms and if you have done any incorrect design you will come to know with the help of waveforms they are giving you a lot of hints this is very useful for people who are very new to verilog and who want to start their practice from scratch this is a very good free practice platform where you can learn from so anyone interested in making a career in vlsi and learning very log make full use of this free practice platform which is called as hdl bits all the best for having a career in vlsi to stay tuned to such useful content on vlsi Please subscribe to Sweetie Speaks official YouTube channel. Thank you.